the garden visit. Herman and Paxton are friends. They meet on the internet. Herman lives in a head of cabbage on one side of a big vegetable garden. Paxton lives in a head of lettuce on the other side of that same garden. Herman has never been to Paxton's house, so he decides to go and visit him. It's January now, and Herman hopes to get to Paxton by Christmas. He packs a bag and off he goes. At the beginning of February, he sees something long and green. What can it be? It's a cucumber. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a grasshopper. Good morning, says the grasshopper. Would you like to come in for a glass of cucumber juice and some music? No, thank you, Herman answers. I'm looking for my friend Paxton's house. Do you know where he lives? But the grasshopper doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of March, he sees something round and red. What can it be? It's a tomato. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Somebody comes to open. It's a ladybug. Oh, says the ladybug. I wasn't expecting company. Let me go put on my makeup. Don't worry, says Herman. I'm looking for my friend Paxton's house. Do you know where he lives? But the ladybug doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of April, he sees something thin and orange. What can it be? It's a carrot. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a mother butterfly with six baby caterpillars. I'm sorry, says the butterfly. You can't come in. I'm very busy. Oh, says Herman. I'm looking for my friend Paxton's house. Do you know where he lives? But the mother butterfly and her baby caterpillars don't know Paxton. So Herman keeps going. At the beginning of May, he sees something small and brown. What can it be? It's a potato. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's an earthworm. The earthworm switches off his headlight. Hello, he says. I'm sorry I can't chat. I'm late for work. Farmer Brown is waiting for me to turn his compost. I'm sorry for keeping you, says Herman. Do you perhaps know where my friend Paxton lives? But the earthworm doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of June, he sees something huge and orange. What can it be? It's a pumpkin. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a spider. So, says the spider, would you like to come into my parlour? Oh, no, thanks, Herman replies quickly. I need to get to my friend Paxton's house. Do you perhaps know where he lives? But the spider doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of July, he sees something short and green. What can it be? It's a head of broccoli. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's an aphid. Phew, the aphid groans and wipes the sweat from his forehead. I was just on my way out. Do you perhaps know where Paxton lives? Herman asks quickly. But the aphid doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of August, he sees something rough and white. What can it be? It's a cauliflower. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a beetle. Good morning, sir, the beetle says with a bow, lifting his hat. How may I be of assistance? I, Herman tries to be very polite. Do you, do you perhaps know where Paxton lives, um, sir? But the beetle doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of September, he sees something smooth and purple and white. What can it be? It's a turnip. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a praying mantis. Bonjour, says the mantis. Would you like to come in so I can paint your portrait? I'm sorry, I don't have time for that, Herman says. I'm very tired. 
and I need to get to my friend Paxton's house before Christmas. Do you know where he lives? But the mantis doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of October, he sees something tall and green. What can it be? It's a head of celery. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's an army of ants. Attention, the ant general shouts. Fall in line, soldier. Forward march. Hold on, says Herman. Can you direct me to Paxton's house, please? But the army of ants don't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of November, he sees something shiny and red. What can it be? It's a chilli chili pepper. There is a little door. Who lives here? He knocks on the door. Someone what? comes to open. What's it's that? a crazy old fly. Good afternoon, says the fly. Or is it good morning? Or good night? Please come in. Oh no, let's go outside. Where are my glasses? I'm looking for my friend Paxton's house, Herman says. Do you perhaps know where he lives? But the crazy old fly doesn't know Paxton, so Herman keeps going. At the beginning of December, he sees something fat and green. What can it be? It's a lettuce. There is a little door. Can this be Paxton's house? He knocks on the door. Someone comes to open. It's a snail. It's Paxton. The two friends climb from leaf to leaf on Paxton's letter house. They sit on the top leaf and look out over the vegetable garden. Far, far away, Herman can see his own cabbage house. What's that? Herman looks at Paxton and says, Phew, it's nice to meet you, but in future, I think it would be easy for us to be friends on Facebook. And hide that. Last cat,